Good evening, Naswatha. An inquest has opened into the death of a retired builder killed in a suspected gas explosion in Swansea. 68-year-old Brian Davis's body was recovered from the wreckage of the blast in Morriston last Monday. The cause of the explosion hasn't yet been confirmed, with extensive damage at the site hampering efforts to work out what was behind it. From Swansea, here's Charampreet Kera. Brian Davis's house demolished while he was still inside. Reports of the explosion that raised it to rubble reached emergency services at 11.20 in the morning. That afternoon, they found Brian's body. By 6 p.m., paramedics confirmed he was dead. An inquest into his death opened here at Swansea's Guildhall earlier today. The inquest heard that it was Brian Davis's son, Ricky, who identified his body. But the precise medical cause of Brian Davis's death is yet to be determined, with toxicology and histology reports still pending. The cause of the blast, too, is yet to be confirmed. It's being treated as a gas explosion, but investigations will take time, given the scale of the destruction. My wife was at home at the time with my mother-in-law, and she opened the door and that's all she could see was debris flying in the air slates, everything, and insulation from people's lofts. It, it was quite frightening. David Williams is one of many local residents whose gas pipes are being replaced after the blast. I feel safer to see the gas board outside. Um, it could have been my house, it could have been anybody's house. As you know, some of this pipe work is, is old. Um, in fact, the uh, gas people have been into the house this morning. Disruption doesn't worry me at all. And I've been told that it is a 30-year cycle to replace all gas pipes with plastic in the country. But it's a 30-year cycle. Wales and West Utilities say that's been brought forward to provide reassurance that the gas supply is reliable and safe. That's the highest priority for a community still in shock from last week's explosion. Three others were injured in the blast, including local postman Jonathan Roberts, who happened to be doing the rounds in his van at the moment of the explosion. The inquest into Brian Davis's death has been adjourned until September. Until then, his loved ones must wait for answers about what happened here.